Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel where it's my opinion or no opinion at all. Scottalicious McFabulous here. And I'm so glad that you guys could join me today. And today we are going to be looking at some of the different handbag styles Michael Kors has to offer in different countries slash different regions of the world. But before we start to look at some of these different designs, if you guys love handbags, hauls, fashion, the whole lot of it, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you are new. And if you guys enjoy today's content, make sure to hit the like button as it does help me know you guys love today's video. And it helps with the YouTube algorithm. Um, ciao. Anyways. So because I am Canadian and I do use the Canadian Michael Kors website the most, we are going to start off with the Canadian exclusives. Not too many to pick from, but we got the Michael Kors Soho Quilted Leather Shoulder Bag in the color Hibiscus. Now, from what I've seen, the Canadian website is the only website on Michael Kors that has the original Soho in hibiscus and it is honestly so stunning. I, I don't, I'm not a pink color person but honestly the moment they released this one, this one was, I was eyeing this one quite heavily but I, because it is a pink color and I don't have that many pinks or anything, I, I'll probably stay away from it but if it were to go on some super discount girl, it's cute. So I liked her. I followed her. I was like, I like her. I like her a lot. But like I said, I'm pretty sure it's Canadian and exclusive. Now these can always change. They sometimes do, sometimes they don't. So we'll have to see. And the next up on the Canadian exclusive list is Michael Kors Soho Logo Embellished Shoulder Bag in the size large. And this one, as you can see, is fully blinged out. And it's actually really cute. I'm curious to see what this one looks more like in person, how it feels, the way it looks with an outfit, because I am concerned it looks a little busy, but this one is a steep $1,000. What the fuck is that? Oof, that is a lot, but it's cute. It's a cute one. If you guys realize, I did use this in my Soho ranking video last week. So it's making another surprise appearance. And for now, it is a Canadian exclusive that could change. And for the last exclusive that I noticed on the Canadian website that stood out to me the most, really, was the Michael Kors Bradshaw Woven Leather Metallic Gold handbag and this one I also really I actually really like this one I really do enjoy the Bradshaw with the woven leather effect regardless of color but the fair aqua and the gold one the metallic gold are on my list for like I got my eye on you that uh, my eyes are on those two colors but the Canadian exclusive is the gold metallic so now that we're done looking at the Canadian one-off exclusives, uh, I have no access to the American, like the Strictly American website. Please do keep that in mind. The North American chain is all the same, basically. I'm going to group the rest of the regions as global because in these countries and regions and continents, they all share two of the exact same handbag style lines. And because of that, I'm going to group them all into global. I don't know what the fuck she's saying, but girl, I am living. Now for the global list, this list is crazy. I'm upset. I'm upset because the next handbag line I'm going to talk about is sickening. And that is the Michael Kors Izzy large logo embellished pebbled leather clutch and the Izzy small pebble pebbled leather saddle crossbody bag. Finally, the Izzy medium logo embellish embellished pebbled leather tote bag. These are everywhere besides North America. 
I see that quality increase, Michael Kors, and I want to see this handbag style in Canada. For my uh, globalers out there, uh, do, do y'all got this style? Because this style looks sickening. I want this style. <laughs> It looks very, very classy, but it also looks so edgy and high fashion. Like, girl, some of those styles, especially the, uh, it almost looks like a Fendi baguette almost. Like, or like the Coach Tabby in a sense. Like, it, it looks really good. I am not going to lie to y'all. Like, even that pebbled leather looks like a step up from even the pebbled leather released last year so i'm curious to see if we get these in stock i really want them the izzy line from michael kors girl i i pray that we get this line because it is really nice in my opinion now again i there's a possibility they release this line and i see it in person and i hate it so it, this is just my first impressions i guess <laughs> Now, before we move on to the second style line, we're gonna look at uh, one of the studded Sohos. As from the Canadian website, how there was the specific hibiscus exclusive for the original large Soho. Well, they have globally, globally, a hibiscus quilted studded Soho shoulder bag style and it is also really cute. I still prefer the original with hibiscus but the hibiscus with studs is also stunning and it is only found globally. I mean this I don't believe this is found on an American and this is definitely not found on the Canadian site. And so for the second handbag style line that is exclusive globally in not the Americas. I fucking hate you, girl. Is the Hannah pleated convertible clutch as well as the Hannah pleated shoulder bag. Now these handbags are faux leather, but they look really nice. I'm I I can really tell that with these newer styles coming up from Michael Kors, you can tell they're upping their quality game. I don't know about y'all, but from the images that I was looking through in these two specific lines, the Izzy and the Hannah, they look really well made. They look very nice. I don't know about y'all, but to me, they look really nice in per like in the pictures. I would have to see them in person to know for sure, but it looks like with each release Michael Kors is doing, they are just increasing the quality bit by bit. And I love to see it. I love to see it, but I would have preferred to see this in like Napa leather. Listen, we don't fucking care. Sorry. Which I want to quickly say in my coach video, I when I was talking about their quilted leather line that they just released, I said Napa leather was not sheepskin and I'm really dumb. I'm really dumb because like two weeks before that, I was like, don't forget Napa leather is lambskin and I am just really dumb for forgetting that. So I do want to correct myself on that. Uh, I would love have to have seen the Hannah in a Napa leather or even a lambskin. Like, girl, that would have been so sickening. But I will say that the new uh, polyurethane and polyester blends of faux leather they're making do feel very lambskin-like. So uh, the quality is still there, but I would still like to see it one step extra with the Hannah. But with all of that being said, what was your favorite out of all of these? They're all really cute one-off pieces. And the Izzy. I'm counting down the days we get access to the Izzy because I want that. That looks really cute. Uh, if y'all own that, let me know the tea. Let me know the tea, please, because I want to know. I want to know the tea on the Izzy. The tea Izzy. Oh my god. Anyway. <laughs> I love you guys, and I will quickly show you guys a blue jean 
dream there can be outfit a hundred people day. in a room maybe there is right now and 99 don't believe in you but all you need is just for one person to believe there can be a hundred people hundred people hundred people hundred hundred people hundred people a hundred people a hundred people a hundred people hundred people hundred people hundred people hundred people hundred 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 or a thousand nine thousand or nine nine hundred ninety nine all righty you guys i hope you guys enjoyed today's video and outfit i feel sickening i haven't done the blue jeans dream in quite some time so it is kind of like a nice little throwback for me personally again i, I haven't used this outfit in like forever so many times, eh? Are you one of the lucky folk that own any of these handbags? If so, please let me know in the comments. It would be really nice to know your personal opinions on everything mentioned or anything mentioned, really. I love you guys so, so much. If you guys enjoyed today's content, make sure to hit that like button, share with your friends and family, comment to me any type of opinion you may or may not have, subscribe if you are new. As well, check out that description box below for a link to my sickening Instagram and a link to my sickening Discord notification squad where you can be more personal with me, you can talk, and you can join me and Miss AC Williams and Melon and Camille. Come on, y'all. Join that Discord. Join the Discord. I love y'all, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. <laughs> I think it was good. I don't, I don't. I'm done. I'm done. No, no, show's over. <laughs> show's over.